I'm Colleen McEdwards at CNN Center. We want to bring you live pictures now from the U.S. state of California. You are looking at pictures of the airplane that is carrying the casket and the body of former U.S. President Ronald Reagan. It has just touched down in the U.S. state of California where President Reagan is to be buried. There is going to be a, a sunset burial service at Reagan's Hilltop Presidential Library. That is in Simi Valley uh, in California. Uh, the plane just a short time ago did a flyby of the area and has now touched down uh, on the ground. What is to happen from here? We understand that his flag draped coffin will be removed from the plane. Uh, Mrs. Reagan will be escorted off of the plane uh, and the ceremonies will get underway. The actual internment service, internment is uh, to get underway at about 5.15 local time, that's Pacific time, about a half an hour, about 35 minutes from now is when that is scheduled to get underway. This follows a full day of services and ceremonies in Washington where world leaders uh, paid tribute to the former president, Polish leader Lech Wałęsa, former uh, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, former Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, former U.S. President uh, George Bush and others uh, paying emotional tribute uh, to the former U.S. President Ronald Reagan who died at the age of 93. You're looking at live pictures there now, uh, the crowd which has gathered uh, in the area. This is President Reagan's home state and we have heard from our reporters uh, who've been covering uh, the, the story on the ground there over the last few days that the outpouring of emotion for the former U.S. president has been uh, really astounding in the U.S. state of California as well as in Washington where we saw people lining up uh, to pay tribute, lining up to pay their their last wishes and, and pay their best wishes to the former U.S. president. Let's watch here as the plane pulls ahead. Again, you are looking at live pictures from the U.S. state of California as the plane carrying former U.S. President Ronald Reagan's body has touched down and is taxiing along at the airport where there is clearly a crowd waiting to pay their respects ahead of what is to be a, a private service for family and friends uh, before the former U.S. President is laid to rest in his home state of California. see the motorcade that is waiting for the plane to pull up and to receive the body. We're told that the course of events here will be essentially removing the casket from the plane. Uh, Mrs. Reagan, who is also on the plane, will be escorted to the end of a, of a cordon that will be set up there. And the casket will be carried uh, along to the internment service, which is to get underway in about a half an hour from now. Mr. Reagan's body was placed on 
this plane at Andrews Air Force Base after a af, Air Force Base after a, a day of of services in Washington. The body was escorted by his family, including his widow Nancy. It was placed in a hearse, taken to Andrews Air Force Base for this flight to his home state of California. There is to be a sunset ceremony. And this will be held at the Hilltop Presidential Library, which is in Simi Valley. We saw pictures of it earlier. There is a crowd gathering there. Friends and family have been gathering uh, at the site uh, for the last several hours. Flags are flown at half-staff there. Reagan died Saturday. He was 93 years old after complications from his Alzheimer's disease, which he battled for a 10-year period. One of the most moving tributes at the ceremonies earlier in Washington came from former U.S. President George Bush, who, of course, served with former President Reagan, uh, and who said that he learned more from Mr. Reagan than he learned from anyone else in public office. Silent crowd now looking on. You are looking at live pictures from the U.S. state of California where a crowd has gathered to await the arrival of the body of former President Ronald Reagan back now to his home state of California where his burial service will take place just a short time from now. And we are watching as various officials move toward the plane, which has taxied forward, come to a stop. The stairs have come down. Various officials moving forward to the plane to assist with getting the coffin off of the plane and also to escort Mr. Reagan's widow, Nancy Reagan, off the plane and into the motorcade, which will carry the coffin to the site near his presidential library in Simi Valley, California.
getting a sense here of some of the ceremony that is to come. expecting honors to be rendered here once the coffin is off the plane and once Nancy Reagan is off the plane as well. Many of the world leaders who attended the ceremony earlier in the day in Washington remembered former President Reagan for uh, his optimism. British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, a notable among those who talked about his politics of freshness and optimism that she said won converts from every class and every nation. and then went on to praise Ronald Reagan, as did many of the others, as a liberator for standing against the Soviet Union and insisting that the Berlin Wall be torn down. response there for Nancy Reagan, who is being escorted from the plane by Major General Galen Jackman. Members of the Reagan family following behind. They are to be escorted to the end of a cordon that has been set up here. There has been extraordinary security at the services that went ahead in Washington and security as well uh, in the U.S. state of California uh, in this area where the plane has landed and also uh, by the site of the internment service, which is to, to get going in a little less than a half an hour now. Essentially, Nancy Reagan and her family being escorted safely to the motorcade that will carry them and the U.S. president, the former U.S. president's body, to the burial site. A glimpse there of former British Prime Minister Mark Thatcher. We're going to go straight up for my Asia standing. Right here, sir. 
the blue platform you see in the background there was raised up a short time ago to the rear of the plane where the coffin was removed and has lowered back to the ground here. We are expecting honors to be rendered here and a 21-gun salute as well. And there you see the casket of former U.S. President Ronald Reagan off of the plane and onto the soil, onto the ground of his home state, the U.S. state of California.
We have just watched as the coffin carrying the body of former U.S. President Ronald Reagan has been moved into the back of the hearse that will take him through the streets of the U.S. state of California towards his presidential library where he will be laid to rest. That ceremony, if you're just joining us, is due to begin uh, shortly in about 15 minutes from now. The motorcade, once everyone sits here uh, at the site, the motorcade will depart carrying the casket, which you see there, as well as former President Reagan's widow, Nancy Reagan, and members of her family, and some of the dignitaries who were also on that plane. They will be headed to the site near the presidential library, where friends and family are already gathering for a sunset ceremony, a private sunset ceremony that will take place there. The Reverend Michael Venning will be uh, performing the invocation there, and a series of ceremonies is planned. Once again, for viewers who may be just joining us, the body of former U.S. President Ronald Reagan has made its way from Andrews Air Force Base on the East Coast all the way to the West Coast to the home state of the former president and the place where he will be laid to rest near the site of his presidential library, the U.S. state of California, where there is great affection for the former U.S. president, both for his political role in that state and for his role in the entertainment and film industry over the years. Not a good place to you see a crowd of well-wishers has already gathered at the airport. Friends and family have gathered at the burial site for the upcoming ceremony. CNN will bring you live coverage of that ceremony as well. That motorcade that is just preparing to leave the airport tarmac now is going to take about 45 minutes to get to the presidential library and the burial site. The former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was one of the world leaders, the many world leaders who attended ceremonies earlier in Washington honoring the former U.S. President. She stepped off the plane as well. We just got a brief glimpse of her being escorted off the plane because of her health concerns and health issues. Her tribute to Mr. Reagan was done by videotape. She praised him for his economic policies and for standing against the Soviet Union calling him one of the world's great leaders. The former Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney also paid tribute, talking about his personal friendship with President Reagan. Even though that friendship cost him politically at home at the time, many Canadians believing that the former Prime Minister was too close to the U.S. president in terms of his policies, yet still the former prime minister paying tribute to his former colleague, saying that he possessed a rare and prized gift called leadership. And one of the most moving eulogies came from former President Bush who of course served with former President Ronald Reagan and said that he, Reagan personified the American spirit in his view and his voice breaking with emotion. He said that he never learned more from anyone in public service than he learned from the former US President Ronald Reagan.
A large crowd of well-wishers has gathered along the way, along the pathway that has been set out for this motorcade to carry the coffin and Reagan family members to the presidential library in Simi Valley where the burial will take place. The, the procession, the motorcade procession, expected to take approximately 45 minutes. You see a good shot there of the crowd, a rather large group, a quiet group right now, waving flags. They cheered a little bit as the plane touched down, but then uh, grew quiet as Nancy Reagan and other dignitaries stepped off the plane. As that motorcade carries the former U.S. president to his burial site, we want to